today we are implementing uh, graph using uh, Java so let me explain the different kinds of graph that we'll be implementing the first one is uh, the undirected graph the primary application where uh, undirected graph are used is for uh, breadth first search depth first search and for finding uh, the connected components in the graph the other uh, kind of graph that we'll be implementing uh, is uh, directed graphs directed graphs are mostly used in to find uh, topological ordering uh, in the graph now, this two graph uh, do not have uh, any kind of weight associated uh, with the edges now that is why uh, the third application the third uh, kind of graph are edge weighted graph now uh, these are different from uh, uh, other kind of graph in the sense that uh, they are uh, still undirected they do not have any kind of direction associated with them but uh, on top of uh, undirected graph they have weights associated with uh, each of their edges uh, the application where uh, edge weighted graph are used is uh, for mostly finding a minimal spanning tree uh, which is done using uh, Kruskal's algorithm and uh, Prim's algorithm uh, the final kind of graph uh, are uh, is a combination of uh, directed graph along with uh, edge weights so now these are called edge weighted uh, directed graph uh, the application for uh, where uh, this uh, edge weighted directed graphs are used uh, is mostly for uh, finding shortest path so today uh, we are implementing uh, undirected graph so let me give you a perspective about uh, how uh, we will be writing code for uh, finding uh, for implementing this uh, undirected graph uh, we'll uh, define a graph as a set of uh, vertices uh, basically an array of uh, uh, vertices and uh, uh, they, they will be connected by uh, some edges uh, now the information of edge can uh, reside with uh, each of the vertex so let's say if we create a class uh, that contains details about uh, vertex then uh, the information that the vertex should store uh, will be its own ID and a list of uh, all the vertices that are uh, adjacent to it so uh, let's uh, write code for uh, for this uh, for implementing uh, this undirected graph so the first first code that I'll write is uh, uh, what I'll write uh, I'll implement uh, is vertex so like I discussed uh, what it will contain is an ID and a list of uh, all the vertex uh, that are uh, adjacent to it adjacent uh, vertex list so let me import this and uh, so the information for uh, finding for uh, adjacent list we can uh, initialize this uh, adjacent vertex list uh, here itself uh, we will create an empty list but uh, when we are initializing uh, this vertex an uh, ID needs to be provided so uh, we'll, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll take it as a constructor parameter uh, uh, the ID and uh, I'll just put it in this now the uh, the one API which uh, we'll be using for uh, filling this uh, adjacent vertex list will be add edge. So this won't uh, return anything, but uh, uh, this will just tell me that uh, there is an edge from in from the vertex uh, with ID W V uh, and uh, vertex with ID W. So what I'll do is uh, in the adjacent list I'll uh, uh, I'll just add W so there is no need because uh, uh, rather let's say I'll just pass in the vertex W now uh, when someone uh, wants information from about a particular vertex what they'll generally need is uh, uh, all the vertices uh, that are uh, adjacent uh, to a particular vertex so uh, what they would be expecting is uh, all the IDs of uh, adjacent uh, vertices of uh, so this should uh, ideally return the adjacency adjacent vertex list but uh, the word this contains a list of all the vertex so what i'll do is uh, i'll use a uh, uh, stream 
to do a map function for a particular vertex uh, to its id there is no getter for id so let me write a getter for id get id this will just uh, return the id of a particular vertex and so that uh, i can use it here and uh, let me collect this into a list and uh, okay so now our uh, vertex class is uh, complete what i'll do is uh, now implement uh, undirected graph so what will undirected graph contain it will contain an array of all the vertex i'll call this as vertices unlike the previous case where we were able to initialize it uh, initialize the list uh, beforehand uh, here we are going to use an array because uh, we know the uh, ideally when we are creating a graph we should uh, know the size of uh, uh, the number of vertices that are available uh, this should uh, be passed as a constructor parameter so what i'll do is uh, i'll initialize uh, this array uh, with uh, with the given size in the constructor now we have just initialized the array not uh, each of the vertex so what we should do is uh, is iterate through the entire array and uh, basically initialize uh, each of the vertex uh, with their id so i'll create a new vertex and i'll say the id of this is whatever i is now what all apis uh, should an undirected graph have this will be something that will be exposed to other clients uh, we do not uh, at any place want to expose our internal implementation of uh, vertex so vertex is not the class that will be exposed ever so uh, from a client side perspective what uh, they would need is uh, something like add edge and uh, they'll tell us uh, the ids of uh, two vertex and uh, what we'll do is uh, uh, access uh, each of uh, each of the uh, vertex and add and uh, we'll just add uh, the the vertex uh, w and uh, we'll do the reverse as well because uh, since this is an undirected graph uh, so ideally we would uh, need to add uh, uh, add edge to both the vertices v and w okay so uh, now uh, the kind of api uh, that needs to be exposed uh, from undirected graph would be something like uh, get me a list of uh, all the uh, vertices that are uh, adjacent to a particular vertex so i'll uh, they would be giving me an uh, id of a vertex and uh, what is expected is uh, a list of uh, all the uh, adjacent uh, vertices uh, we can uh, directly fetch this uh, using the vertices array so what I'll do is uh, vertices of V contains uh, has information about uh, all the adjacent uh, adjacent vertices that are adjacent to it. Okay, so let's uh, test this. Since this is our client code, uh, uh, I'll write a test case. Uh, I'll try it out. Uh, try that. So what I'll do is uh, I'll create an undirected graph, and let's say I want uh, three vertices. And uh, uh, let's uh, let's add edges uh, from zero to one, from uh, one to two, and uh, let's add an edge from uh, zero to two. So uh, now, now to try test this out, uh, if we are uh, adding the vertices correctly, what I'll do is uh, I'll ask for adjacent. Uh, get me all the vertices that are adjacent to two. Uh, ideally they should uh, return me uh, 0 and uh, 1 since uh, they are the uh, two vertices that are adjacent to 2 so i am expecting a list of uh, all the vertex vertex that are adjacent and uh, what i'll do is uh, iterate through the list and uh, let's print out uh, the ids for uh, each of the vertex uh, that is adjacent to it string dot value of integer okay so let me run uh, this and check if you are getting uh, 0 and 1 or not yes so uh, 
So this this is how uh, we can implement an undirected graph. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I'll explain how to implement a directed graph, which will be pretty similar to what uh, we implemented for uh, undirected undirected graph.